So I want to come out here and I want to correct something that I mentioned yesterday morning. Now, yesterday morning I did a recording on my uh, on my Android on my Samsung Galaxy A10. I did a voice recording uh, for uh, for an audio video that I put up yesterday, and the audio video was on something that G O H at Save the Freedom Fighters uh, Facebook group page. Um, had posted in a screenshot. And the screenshot was of a tweet that Ken Penders uh, put up about two years ago, about two and a half years ago. And that tweet was about the fact that one of the plans from a story perspective that he wanted to potentially do was uh, basically Jeffrey St. John, who was introduced um, around issue eight, around issue 18 and 19 and in 20 and mostly through the Princess Sally three-part miniseries that he wrote, that being Penders, that Jeffrey St. John was going to basically cause Sally to lose her virginity to him. And then, you know, Ken put at the end of the tweet that, hey, Sonic may be fast, but Jeffrey beat him in, you know, a certain department that he was hoping for or something like that. And you could imagine that this tweet did not go over well with a lot of folks. It, it did not. Now, yesterday, I said in the audio video that he had come up with this idea and probably pitched it to Archie or Sega. Now, I have to let you guys know, I was, you could probably hear it in my voice. I was tired. I had just woken up about 20, 30 minutes earlier. So I wasn't, I really wasn't all, you know, there at the time, like a lot of us aren't. You, you know, when we wake up, even after 20 to 30 minutes, we're not all there still. We're still collecting our thoughts. We're still physically and mentally, you know, getting ourselves together. Anyway, anyway, I mentioned in there that Ken Penders had pitched the idea to Archie and Sega and that they had shot him down. And this is where I have to correct myself and I have to give credit to Train's fan, Train's fan, let me get that correct because I always mispronounce it, uh, for correcting me and anybody else that believes this. Because Train's fan said that Ken Penders had come out and acknowledged that he did not, you know, he did not, you know, pitch the idea whatsoever to them. That yes, it was a story element he came up with and he was considering but never went any further than that. And again, I have to give credit to Trains fan for pointing that out because, you know, Ken Penders is known to have done a lot of controversial things. There's no doubt. You know, he's mostly known for causing the whole, or, be, or at least being one of the reasons that the whole Soft Red Con and Reboot uh, occurred, you know, the way it did. I just got a little piece of hair off my camera there. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, he is basically considered as one of the main blames, if you will, or main people at fault for the soft retcon and soft reboot occurring when it did. And, and that because of that, a lot of the characters that we knew and loved that he had created for the, for the comic had been removed. So, yeah, he, he did not, he has not, I should say, really inherited you know himself or he did himself to a lot of uh, to a lot of fans overall and you know like I said he's made a lot of deci a lot of crazy decisions even uh, even before he left the book and stuff like that you know some controversial you know and just had a bee fly next to me there but you know like I said some controversial some very beloved and some hated you know he's made some crazy decisions now as I mentioned before, when I did my review on issue 29, uh, an issue he wrote, you know, where Sally got temporarily roboticized, you know, did I give him credit for doing what was considered the OG Mecha Sally story a lot better than what Ian Flynn did? Absolutely. I don't think there's no debating that. I don't think there's no debating that. Whether you liked, you know, Ian Flynn's take, you know, uh, better than Ken's, uh, you know, better than Ken's, I don't think there's any debating that, you know, there were elements and stuff, um, but, you know, when you compare the two stories and between the two writers, that you would agree Ken did a little bit better than Ian, you know, 
you know enough said but and enough said in that area but you know yeah there's a lot of things like i said ken penders did that people loved story-wise element you know character-wise and all that people love people found controversial and some people hated i mean a lot of people feel like he still contributed in, in a massive way to what happened in 134 and that you know he you know being obviously an advocate or a fan of the relationship should have done more than what he did you know afterwards like he should have found a way to really get these characters sonic and sally at least back on friendlier terms and not waiting for someone like Ian Flynn to come in and correct course uh, when it came to that situation. But, but again, you know, like I said, there are a lot of decisions he's made, um, you know, story-wise that, you know, are kind of like, you know, are like basically, you know, you know, good in between and ugly. It pretty much is the way I could say it. But over, but. In consensus, though, like I said, in consensus, you know, there are some story elements that obviously he came up with that were not even uh, utilized in the story, that even probably wouldn't have gotten by Archie and Sega, that as he reveals them over time, is quite surprising, and this being one of them. So, in conclusion, like I said, I have to give credit to Trains Fan for correcting me on that, because like I said, I was tired just today, I had just woken up, and you know i didn't have all my facilities together just yet i mean you know i would i had enough enough of my facilities you know even after 20 30 minutes being up to do the video and kind of get the things off my chest but i wasn't fully awake enough to really give true context as to what you know as to why this was brought up by ken pendis as to why this is one of those story ideas he wanted to do but obviously somebody, I'm assuming his wife, you know, his family members, maybe somebody working with him on various comics besides Sonic and Knuckles, you know, woke him up and made him realize, yeah, I don't think this is going to fly with RTS Sega. So why don't you file that away for your own, you know, personal records and maybe you can reveal it later, you know, and maybe that's what's going to, and, you know, that's, that's what happened, you know, and that's what's happened when people, when he did the Q&A, over, you know, like I said, two and a half years ago, and they asked him about certain stories he wanted to do that he didn't get a chance to do, may, that may have been looked at as controversial. You know, that's one of the ideas he came up with. That's one of the story ideas he came up with, you know, as an answer. So, but anyway, anyway, though, again, I just wanted to come on here and, like I say, correct course on what I said. Give correct, I gotta, like, give, give big shout out to Trains Fan. Uh, for correcting me on that i appreciate it um but again even if it is a story concept that he was considering i think we can all agree that yeah that's kind of stepping over the line i i uh a little too much especially a line that you would pretty much consider would have costed you know ken his job had he even you know taken the next step to to go out and pitch the idea to archie and even sega to to make it happen so thankfully that didn't happen and you know uh we could just you know go on from there and we could just move on from there but let me know what your thoughts are guys comment down below live chat during the premiere and i am out uh, thanks for watching